Report. Jake Peavy pitched for the Fort Wayne Wizards, then went on to win the National League Cy Young Award. Corey Kluber pitched here and has won the AL Cy Young Award twice. Neither had the hype coming up like Mackenzie Gore. The 19-year-old from Whiteville, North Carolina, making his Caps debut, rated as the best left-handed pitching prospect in all of baseball last year. National High School Player of the Year, picked third overall of the draft, and oh yeah, got $6.7 million in his signing bonus. That's the largest in San Diego Padres franchise history. First inning, matter of fact, first batter. Yeah, he struck him out. Two Ks in the first. Gore had some blister issues in spring training. Not so much here. Second inning, more of the same. Christian Williams goes down swinging. And then with two runners on, Gore shuts the door. He would strike out four on the game. More to him in a minute. Bottom of the second, though, he gets some support from his friends. We're talking Jason Rosario. This would be a double. It would score two, and the tin caps on the board first to zip. Top of the third, though, Gore in trouble. Kevin Smith, who doubles to the deepest part of the park, and it would plate a pair. Now, you're going to see Mackenzie Gore get out of the jam with a hard liner here. Gore limited to 66 pitches over three innings, gave up five hits, two earned, walked one, and struck out four. Flash potential at 94 miles an hour on that fastball. Bottom of the third, Juan Fernandez rips one. Luis Campusano scores. Tid Caps take the lead here, but Zugo on to fall 6-5. to five. Andy McDonald was there and has more on Mackenzie Gore's first start. Thanks, Glenn. Let's just say Mackenzie Gore's professional baseball career, it got off to a blistering start in more ways than one. The third overall pick, he had blisters on his left hand, his throwing hand, and it delayed his first career start. But once he did take the mound for the 10 caps, it was well worth the wait. I felt all right. Um, command wasn't great today, and, you know, I got to be better. We scored two runs in the second, and I got to be able to put up a zero in the third. Especially, you know, we've been struggling a little bit, and it's just, yeah, you know, kind of put that on me, that ain't on me. You know, we get up, I got to be able to put a zero up and keep the momentum on us, but we're going to figure it out, we're going to start winning. In his eyes, I'm going to guess that he probably uh, could have done better, um, but, you know, that's the uh, expectation from all of us and from him, you know. Um, we, we want him to go out there and dominate and compete, and I thought he did, did a Fairly good job for his first time out there. The Tin Caps, they return to action tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. From Parkview Field, I'm Andy McDonald, News Channel 15.